the corbel is made out of three pieces, one with a 2x4, and this is a 2x4 just cut to length. This is, the one I chose is 11 inches, 2x4, and then about an inch up I put a 45 degree chamfer on it. Then I did all this with a compound miter saw, so that fits there. Then you have a 4x4, four four. this is all solid cedar, with the edges chamfered here to leave about a two inches uh, or about two inches on the end and that goes right against here and then you have another piece of the four by four cedar but I have cut two 45 degree angles on here and that will become the little corner brace in here and that's it you will notice I did have a little bit of checking here and where that um, where that crack was, it was maybe about a sixteenth of an inch. I just, on my table saw, I just cut a little wedge out of a piece of cedar and then pushed glue in there and pushed the wedge in there, let it dry, and made um, kind of a Dutchman out of it and filled that, that check in. So that worked pretty well. Then I just um, used my um, hand plane to clean that up. When you paint over it, you'll never notice it. All right, so this goes together just like this. Um, this, by the way, is nine and a quarter inches here. And then this just is the 45 cut right to a point. So all we'll do is I'm going to use these, uh, what are these, two and a half inch deck screws. And these are triple coated deck screws, square drive. And I will start with this. Just two screws right in the end grain, like this. These are also drilled with a 3 8 inch um, Forstner bit down in. So I probably won't plug these because they're going to go underneath and they're really just decorative, uh, but you certainly could. And then two screws go through the 2x4 into the brace. And that's it. This holds tight. This is nice and uh, nice and flush here because I did a test fit to make sure that everything fit before I pre-drilled it. Um, but this looks good and it's ready for paint. It will sit uh, with a box on top of it here. And I believe I have about, about a one and a half, one and three quarter inch uh, reveal of this past the front of the box. So that's it. We built two of these, and then they are fash or fashioned, fastened onto the box with uh, just three screws that go right down from the top. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of rough sanding just to make sure everything is ready to accept the paint, and then we'll start painting it. I will finish uh, plugging all these screw holes, but I just wanted to show you that before I paint, um, I'm using some of this blue painter's tape to tape off the inside because I only really want to paint the outside white where it's visible. And I'm going to put a tape line down here too so the white paint will just come a little bit around the back um, and then the whole front and the whole top of the molding will be painted. So uh, for my outdoor projects I, I like this uh, Dutch Boy. It's called Max Bond. It's a paint and a primer so um, it's a really nice exterior product. I chose the same color, which uh, we like the simplified white uh, for everything. It's a nice white, but it's not super glowy or bright. And it looks really nice, I think, with the house. Um, I have some molding on our house painted with this too, and so it matches that. But this works really well on natural or raw wood like this because of the paint and primer, and it really sticks and it's uh, really sturdy. So I'm going to put two coats of that on here. That's really all we need. And um, then I'll show you that the final, once I have the two coats of paint on it. One option I wanted to show you that um, I'll probably do with these is on the front of it, I thought it might be kind of cool to put um, a plaque that I have carved um, with a last name. And then I carved out these two little buttons on the side here, um, these two little circles and that's where the screws will go 
So here's an example. It's just a piece of cedar that I chamfered the edges, cut it out, and then these holes here have been pre-drilled to accept the screws here. So this just covers that first carving like this. And I probably would just leave that a natural wood and let it kind of age with time. And I think it would look nice against the white. Um, you could also paint this white and then just uh, repaint the black type as well if you wanted it to all match or to match. But I kind of like that this was raised off of the front like that. So just another possibility to personalize it a little bit if you wanted to for your home or if you're building it as a gift for someone else. This was, uh, by the way, the letters I just hand drew on here, spaced everything out. And then, like I have uh, showed, you, sh showed you before, I just used a V-chisel to, to carve the letters out, get enough of a, about an eighth of an inch depth in there, and then it, that allowed me to put some black uh, acrylic paint in there. All right, just an option. All right, so here's the final painted piece. And the, the paint that I have is a satin, and it gives it just a little bit of a sheen, and I think it looks really nice. Um, not too glossy, but I think the two coats will hold up really well. And the nice thing is, is because it's just white paint on here, if you ever see that it's nicking or wearing out in certain areas, you can, uh, or in my case, where a squirrel chews it off or something, um, just touch it up and you're fine. So here, this has been painted um, with the Max Bond paint. And then this in here, I just painted with some black acrylic paint. It's actually artist paint, which is a Liquitex, which is a really deep black. And then the corbels have been painted and that's how they look. And then they will just go right on the bottom with a little bit of a reveal 
like that. So I'll show you a couple of pictures of how it looks um, with the plants in here and the uh, and mounted on the front of the house. <laughs> 